I'm Amber Thest, and today I'm going to be telling you about how I travel low impact or zero waste. In September, I took two week-long trips, and so I'm going to show you what, what the low impact supplies were that I brought so I could reduce my waste. First of all, <laughs> I brought snacks because here where I live, I can get bulk food. So I picked up some snacks in a bulk bag. And I used this big jar to hold like Chex Mix. Um, it's now full of oatmeal, which I didn't realize I had until I grabbed this jar to do the video, but I'm so excited I can have oatmeal. <laughs> so I had this filled up and I also brought this little jar so that I could like pour some into here if I needed a smaller pack on the go. And I didn't want to carry around a giant tin. So these two little tins were very helpful. Um, and then on the second trip, I also brought some jars of like peanuts and stuff in my suitcase um, because I had a bigger suitcase and I could bring more snacks. As well as that trip, I did not know how much access to vegetarian slash vegan nutrition I'd be able to find. So I wanted to bring some healthy snacks that could supplement whatever I was eating. The next thing I brought was this little pouch. You may have seen if you've seen another one of my low impact videos. Um, this is what I carry around on a daily basis, but I brought a little bit extra for these trips. Um, so I always have a stainless steel straw and then a set of silverware. I made sure to bring two forks and two spoons just in case I didn't get a chance to wash them enough because, you know, on the road, don't know what the situation's going to be. These I actually bought on the second trip, so I had a different set with these originally, but look at how beautiful they are. I haven't been able to use them yet, but I love them. <laughs> so I had two sets for my week-long trip. Um, and then not only one cloth napkin, but two, because I could use the second napkin to wrap up my silverware. Um, and you know, if I don't get to wash them soon enough, I still have another napkin I can use. Usually when I bring this kit with me, like just go in somewhere for the day, I only bring one napkin because I can use it and then wrap up my silverware and then I'm done and I can bring it home and wash it. But because we're on the road, I brought two so that I could still wrap up my dirty utensils and I wouldn't touch the clean ones in the bag. Speaking of cleaning things, I brought cleaning supplies. This is a straw cleaner, and this is just a dish rag that I crocheted. Um, and I just used whatever soap I had available to quickly wash my dishes. Um, there's always, if you're staying in a hotel or a friend's house, there's always like a sink and some soap. If you want to bring your own dish soap, you can do that. I didn't have any. <laughs> um, on another thing that needs to be washed, <laughs> I brought this bento box. Um, very shiny. Yes, this was very helpful so whenever we were eating out I could take some leftovers and then it was especially helpful if I could have those leftovers when there wasn't as much food that I would be able to eat, especially on the second trip um, when <laughs> I accidentally had to go completely vegan. Long story, <laughs> but a box like this is really handy, so I definitely recommend bringing this if you're traveling. Any any bento box. Or like, this is just a stainless steel lunch box. Um, and that's not too difficult to clean on the go either. And then I brought a couple of bulk bags. This is one that I brought on the trip, and I actually stained it on the trip. I got some vegan donuts at a restaurant in California, and I could just fill up my own bag with them. It was great. This is a coot sack bag, as like all my favorite bulk bags are, but I brought a couple more just because I didn't know like what kind of stores we'd be coming across. And you always want to be prepared with some bulk bags. I also brought this lovely baby that you may also recognize. This is a mason jar, just a regular like pasta sauce jar with a cozy that I also crocheted. They are perfect. This is full of water right now. That's kind of mostly what I carry around, but I'm also able to get coffee or tea or a 
smoothie, which I discovered in September on these trips that I could get a vegan smoothie from Orange Julius in my own container. The trick to that is you have to request that they pour it from the blender into your cup, otherwise they might very confusedly pour it into a plastic cup and then pour the plastic cup into your jar because of they're not probably trained to pour things into your own jar. But I've gone at two locations in two different states. What no? Same state. <laughs> two different cities that they've allowed me to use my own jar. So that's an option. It is really delicious. And of course, I use my own straw. Um, and then this is not difficult to clean, but I also recommend maybe if you're planning on getting more smoothies and stuff like that, getting bringing another jar that you can switch out and use. Um, that was really handy. Um, I, I got some coffee in it and everything was all good. <laughs> and then of course I bring a shopping bag with me. This is my compact shopping bag that I made myself. Wow, look at how big it is. <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah, I had this with me. Obviously that's very handy in any situation. Um, and then as far as like self-care stuff, personal hygiene, um, I brought a bar soap, um, which was antibacterial because I was getting tattoos and I wanted to make sure I had something, um, to take care of them. So I, I got the proper soap, but it was in bar form, bar form so that it wouldn't have as much plastic and it was very nice it worked well but i recommend if you're like staying in different hotels and like traveling a lot in the trip to bring like a pump if you need like to care for a tattoo but otherwise like bar soap is fine for just like showering i just had to use it for washing my hands so the first trip i did stay at someone's house for the whole week so having the bar soap was not a problem the second trip i brought a pump soap which i've kept and that can be refilled because these are not the last tattoos i'll be getting so i will definitely need that again but that's all the soap i brought i don't use shampoo so i didn't have to bring that um I, my toothbrush is bamboo and i wrapped it in a coot sack bag because i don't have a toothbrush holder yet i also don't bring makeup so i can't talk about that because i don't really wear makeup at this point but the thing that i did bring was this <laughs> This is my favorite lotion ever. Um, I'll link a recipe in the description, but I use this to heal my tattoos. I also use it on my hair and my skin. So it's a multi-purpose. And as long as it's not extremely hot where you are and this will just melt, it's basically, it's in a solid form. So you don't have to worry about flying with it. Unless it's a really hot day, then you might just have to set it in the liquid strain and be like, yeah. I did want to mention on the snacks thing, if you're flying with snacks, you might get pulled over for them to like check your bag. For some reason, I guess snacks scan weird, I don't know, but that's a thing to look out for um, or be knowing that that could happen. Um, it's not a big deal, especially if you're not carrying anything suspicious. They'll like open up your container and be like, that's Chex Mix, you're fine. <laughs> So that I got stopped once for that and then the other thing I wanted to tell you about real quick is As a vegan, I know how hard it can be to find vegan food, especially when you're out traveling and stuff um, And if you're plastic free fast food and stuff can be um, very difficult, but Taco Bell is a place where you can get plastic free and vegan food that tastes good and there's pretty much Taco Bells everywhere in America, so if you're just pulling over somewhere, you'll be able to find food. Um, obviously, I don't recommend you eating that every day, but it's definitely there, um, so it's a nice comfort to know when you are traveling. Um, as traveling was something that concerned me a lot before I went vegan, I was, I didn't know, like, where I was going to be able to find food. But yes, it's very easy to get vegan food at Taco Bell. If you don't know about it, um, you can substitute beans instead of meat on nearly every item. Um, 
and there is a button for it if if your cashier doesn't know what's going on like has never substituted beans for beef it's in it's in the little like additions or edit menu thing it's in there I promise <laughs> um, as well as if you don't like the refried beans you can substitute them for black beans so that's on any item basically and then you can also do it fresco which takes off all the dairy and replaces it with pico de gallo and it's very good <laughs> As long as you don't get something like the taco salad or the nachos that come in plastic trays, most of the other menu items are good. Obviously don't get a drink there or put it in your own jar. <laughs> um, but yeah, my favorite items so far, I'm really enjoying the Mexican pizza, sub bean, fresco, and add rice. And then the sp spicy potato soft taco. The spicy part comes off with the fresco, but the potatoes and the lettuce and the pico de gallo is just great, and that's one dollar, so <laughs> I recommend that. Um, but most of the things on the menu can be easily changed, and it's not it's not a huge inconvenience. I worked at Taco Bell, I know. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would complain. Somebody working at Taco Bell will complain, but it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I have for today. If you have any more questions or specific things you want to hear more about, leave a comment. I would be happy to make more low-impact videos because I love this stuff and this is how I live my life every day. <laughs> so yeah, just let me know and have a nice day.